Okay, this is the homemade Hall Effect tachometer. It's basically a 3D printed disc that you can put magnets in one or more of the spots. You jam it on the motor shaft there. That little guy is a uh, um, a Hall Effect sensor, A model A3144, and uh, it's hooked up to this Arduino here, which is counting every time this thing sees a magnet fly by. I'll shut this down so you can see. This particular disc has four magnets uh, on it in evenly spaced, and then this thing passes by, and I uh, see that light is off, and then as soon as this passes by, now the light is on. So if I fire this up again, and it starts trucking, you see regular blinking there. If I speed it up, the blinking gets faster. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's true. Got the oscilloscope hooked up here, so that's the uh, um, the signal straight off the Hall Effect sensor. And as I speed up the motor, the signal gets faster. Now this Arduino is doing more than blinking. There's a bit of code there to do some time calculations. And so if you see here, that is our RPM. So that's um, the current state of the pin, which is immaterial because it's just printing out every second. The number of triggers that occurred in that time. The time between the first trigger and the last trigger in the time span. Rotations per second and rotations per minute. And you'll see me turn the sucker down and the numbers will get lower. So there you go. Um, this thing is, does not uh, understand direction. It just does speed right now because there's only one point of sensing. Uh, I believe by adding one or possibly two more Hall Effect sensors, we could add um, direction information. And that would let us tell, uh, basically become a full rotary encoder at that point with a little bit of logic. Uh, but there you go. It's uh, super cheap. It's the cost of some, some like five cent magnets. A bit of 3D printing, and you jam it on there. Oh, and these these things are dirt cheap. They're like I don't know, a quarter each or something. So there you go. To tell you a thing. The end.